Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is a bit of a different type of uh, video, just covering Paprium, as there has been a lot of noise surrounding uh, this release. Um, the exciting part for me is that it's actually now working on the Mega EverDrive Pro, which I do own. Um, and I wanted to get this uh, running uh, with you guys live and um, basically show you how to prepare the files. So I currently own the Paprium cartridge and it will be fun to get this working on the EverDrive Pro. The reason uh, the EverDrive Pro um, actually supports this is because it's got an FPGA inside, so it can emulate some of the mappers and the uh, special chip uh, that the actual cartridge actually contains. Um, so basically what you want to do is have the actual ROM with the MP3s. Uh, the ROM itself is called paprium.bin uh, plus a folder with all the MP3 files. Um, the MAPA files um, and Crix files you can find on archive.org. Uh, if you look for not underscore paprium underscore retroarch, uh, you'll be able to find the files very easily. And once you have the files, uh, it will look like something like this. Okay, when you get the file, um, it's called mega underscore ppm. Um, so basically that contains the FPGA a readme and a CCD CDDA folder. Okay, uh, you want to put the ROM inside the main directory. It's paprium.bin. You want to rename that to .md. Uh, make sure you're naming that correctly, not .bin.md. So get your um, file um, type correct. Okay, under CDAA, uh, there's an MP3 folder. You want to put the MP3s in here. Okay, and um, you also want to download the latest version of ffmpeg.exe. Uh, just Google that and uh, pull the Windows executable. Um, you will also um, want to copy the DLL files uh, that's included with the binary, otherwise the uh, program will not run. Okay, so what you wanna do next is go back, uh, actually go into CDA and you want to run the convert. Let's do that first time. So it's doing its conversion. Okay, that's done. So we got the waves in there already. Okay, so we, we want to basically go to I wanted to search by details or by type. Type, sorry, not size. Let's go by type. Um, so search by MP3. And you want to basically delete the MP3s. So now you just have the waves. Okay. And what we want to do is copy or cut the waves into the location with the file and the ROM is. Okay, and you also want to cut the Q file. Okay, so we have all the waves, we have the uh, Q, we have the uh, FPGA file and paprim.md. And let's copy that to the Mega EverDrive and um, give it a go. Okay, guys, so um, I have my Mega Drive here uh, with the EverDrive Pro. A couple of things to note is that I need to be on the latest version of the firmware. Okay, so if I go into device info, um, I'm on 24. 12, 13, which is the latest. If you're running the older version, which is before version 24, you have to go and update your firmware to the legacy method, uh, which copies the entire mega folder onto the SD card where you do the firmware update automatically. After version 24, um, and as of making of this video, which is July 2025, there is two firmware releases which came out, one at the end of 2024 and one recent, okay, which is an actual file. And the way you update that is you go into the system folder, which is the mega folder. 
and the latest version is a .ele EFU file. So you copy the EFU file in there, and then you basically um, install the firmware. I've already done that. Okay. Now the other thing you want to do with Paprium is you want to go into the uh, configuration and you want to change the SRAM to save tab to SRAM and save size to four kilobytes. Okay. Uh, when you first run the game, these are turned off and not available. Okay. So if we run it now, let's give it a test. And uh, cross our fingers. Looks good, people. Looks good. So I think this is a mini game. It's normal. And if you get past the mini game, you can actually uh, go to the normal game. So let me just get killed here. Game over. All right. So we begin. So basically, go into the mini game, die, reset the game, and next time you reset the game, it will take you to the normal game. Great success, I like. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. All right, guys, so this is the end of the video. Hope it was helpful to you. And if you follow my instructions and take note uh, on all the little things, how to convert, how to set up your firmware, what settings to set in EverDrive Pro, you'll be good to go. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content, um, please subscribe to the channel, leave a comment uh, as that feeds the algorithm, and um, yeah, enjoy Paprium.